Hello my friends! Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing a spray can system. A do-it-yourself spray can system. I saw this by accident um, walking through the uh, one of the hardware stores around here and uh, I always walk through the paint aisle and this caught my eye um, and I know it's been around for years but uh, you know what? I never tested it and we're going to try it now. Yes, you mix your paint and this is the carry on the spray of the gas and it comes out. So you're mixing your own paint and you're making your own, technically, a spray can. And they sell extra um, refills of the uh, propellant here. You just screw it on top. Now I wish they sold an extra jar. I couldn't find it. That would have been the bonus. So you can have a bunch of jars. It comes with a lid so you can keep the paint you know, sealed up good. It would have been great, but I mean, if I do a little research, I can find the extra jars. Um, but the propellant, um, you can buy, and uh, I think this was under ten bucks, and this was like this. They're both under ten bucks, you know. But this was, I think, was like seven, and this was like eight bucks. If it works, you know, for those people who don't have an airbrush or the means to get one, hey, uh, under fifteen bucks, I think, for these two, and y y you're on your way. So. Uh, we're going to test this in real time. I haven't tried it. So we're going to learn if this thing works together. Now, um, we're going to try two colors. I think what we'll try is primer, because that looks like one of the primary reasons I personally would have used this if I didn't have an airbrush. So let's try some primer. I don't know which one we're going to try. Um, I have a lot of this all clad. I don't use it too often, so maybe we'll go ahead and try the all clad. And for a color, I have duplicates of this orange from Gaia so uh, hey we'll try that for the color and uh, we'll spray in a couple of parts and this sheet of plastic to see how smooth it comes out so um, yeah let's take a look at it oh here's the cap now it says to cut open the back for more instructions, so let's see what they mean by that. Hold on guys, let me grab a scissor. Alright, oh, I see what they mean. Check this out, there's instructions on the inside. How do we open this thing up all the way? There we go. Oh, half his, uh, looks like Spanish, so I am going to read the English here. And there we go. The basic steps are strain the paint with a strainer. We got it. Um, use the funnel to fill the jar. Now, nah. well, this is this is both right, two and one. The drops today. Uh, thin the paint a little bit. Yeah, we know the thin it. Mix the paint prior to attaching it. Yeah, I mix it in the cup, and then we'll pour it in. Uh, remove the filter on the dip tube for latex paint. Oh, the filter. There it is. So if we're going to go with latex, they want you to pull this off. Yep. And you could leave it off for all of them, right? It doesn't even matter, I guess. We're not using latex, but I guess this is pretty cool if you want to touch up your house. Uh, test spray. Allow a few seconds for the paint to drop to the tube. Yeah, I know that. Uh, don't shake it. All right. That's good to know. Don't shake it. Don't tip it more than 45 degrees. It's vented. Where is Oh, I see it. There's the vent. The unit is vented right there. Uh, the air vent will prevent uh, 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 shaking it disrupts it. Do not shake it. All right. That's it. I know how to thin it. Attach. We just read all that. Thinning the paint. We know how to thin paint. Oh, clogging. Here we go. Uh, should it clog or sputter, hold your finger over the front. Oh, so you back flush it, just like an airbrush. Let's take a look at the nozzle here. Oh, my guys. Oh, it's a nice nozzle. All right. Yeah, I guess you just plug it up and back flush. I'll leave the cap off. All right, it looks like uh, clogging. Will that be it? You'll see bubbles in the liquid. Obviously, remove the hood. Spray solvent to clean it. All right, so we'll put some thinner acetone to clean it out. Why is it getting cold? Too much continuous use. Let it sit for a few minutes to warm it up. And clean it. Put the Yeah, we know that. Back flush. All right, that's it. That's on the inside. That's the rest of the instructions. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, it's going to attach here. Unfortunately, the hose is not going to reach the bottom too much. I'm going to have to put a lot of paint in there. That's, that's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. Good measurements on it, though. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. So those are the two colors I'm going to test this thing with. So, uh, 
Yeah, all right. I'm gonna mix this up. I'll pause the camera. I think this is pretty thin. Let me check it out. And let me get this thing ready. All right, guys, let me pause the camera. I will be right back. All right, guys, I want you to see this. Um, this is pretty thin. And uh, this is also, I want you guys to know, this is a gloss medium. This is for their uh, their high shine aluminum. It's for their uh, brass. It's uh, it's like shiny black, except it's shiny gray. Uh, it's a great primer, too. But look how thin. I mean, that is thin. I mean, uh, I don't know. I might put a, I might thin it a little more just to stretch it. But, uh, yeah. yeah, always make sure you guys clean off the caps on these things. Always, always, always. But um, see how much that comes up with. Cap this off. We don't want any spill accidents here. But, yeah, I think uh, that looks pretty thin. Well, I'm going to go ahead. Hold on, guys. A little collapse back here behind me. I got some left in this... Uh, just to color thinner, so let's go ahead and uh, get this on camera for you guys. Let's thin it a little more. All right, let's cut this cap off here. All right, let's uh, let's see what we get. Let's reach over here, grab one of my stirrers, cut them in half. You know, I guess you can't get too thin, but uh, you know, according to their chart, where's the book? Hold on, guys. Yeah, according to their chart, it actually says on it, check this out, they got a chart here. See it? Lacquer, oil base, three parts paint, one part thinner. But everything is three parts, one part. So it looks like other than this uh, semi-gloss water base, which is what, house paint, that's a two part thinner, three part paint. So it's all three, see it? Three to one, three to one, which is not very thin, but... Uh, this all clad is really thin out of the out of the jar, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it almost as it was. But I did add a touch. Let's see how much we get out of this. All right. Oh, hold on. Wants us to strain it. Let's go ahead with my new strainer I just got from Amazon. Here we go. The silence is deafening. Look at that. All right, let's get that out of here. Now, see it? I think I'm gonna want some more here to see how far this is going to, eh, it's gonna dip in a little bit. It's gonna get in there a little bit. So get another cup. I will clean this out in a little bit. This little thing works wonders. All right, okay. Uh, let's see where we are. Does it go in all the way? Oh boy, it might not. It isn't going a lot. You really got to put a lot in here. It's probably enough to get what we're going to prime. But let's make sure. All right. Let me add a little bit more just to be sure. Again, I'm going to... Uh, I might use this straight out of the jar because it looks pretty thin. All right, guys. Uh, let's strain this one more time. This is really exciting stuff here. All right. Here we go. Okay, I think this should, yeah, that should get us to what we want. And when I'm done, I'm just going to pour everything back into here. So, okay, put that back in its cup here, off the screen. Oops, there we go. All right. Let us wipe this off. Keep our hands clean. All right. There we go. All right. Let us head over to the booth and see if this baby works. And uh, I'm going to find out at the same time as you guys, because I did not try this beforehand. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. The big exper uh, experiment here is the uh, suspense is killing me. Let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that. I think it works. I think that's. I think that's it. I think it's. This thing is bouncy on me. It's just like spring steel. Um, wow. You know what? All right. Let's put this aside to dry. All right. Then of course, let's try it on this flat piece. We can see what we're looking at here. Whoa. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, I got something on it, but that might have been me or something on the plastic. So there we go. I think uh, the reason why they don't want it too thin, it's running a little bit, so it looks like they might be onto something as far as the thinness goes, but it does work. Uh, we'll try it with the color and see what we get, but let's go put this in the dehydrator, let this dry, and the other piece, and it will test out a color. Let me uh, see what it's like to clean this out, too. Alright guys, I dumped the uh, paint back into the jar it comes out of. I poured a little uh, acetone, cleaned it out in here. Now I got some in here, we're going to swirl it around, clean off the needle, the hose rather, and let's see. Oh, there it is. Got to keep it straight, it says. Alright, let's back flush it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and remove it all together. Oh, it comes out clean. Look at that. And get out what's in it. There we go. Oh, wait, still a little bit in there. There we go. All right, let me dump this out. I'll put the color in. Let's see how it paints on that color. All right, guys, uh, I'm all set to do the orange, but uh, look at how nice it, it painted. Look at that. So it really, uh, it, it went on good. So yeah, uh, she works. It works. I mean, that's a, that's a nice even coat of primer. All right, let me go and grab the orange. I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the orange. There we are. I think if you use this for priming, which... By the way, she works. Uh, I would fill it right up and then just leave it. It comes with a cap, so you can, you know, um, leave it in there. It'll keep it uh, from drying out. And then you just pop on uh, this hair because it's vented. You don't want to leave it, you know, not capped up. But let's go ahead and see if this works. Let's prime this. Whoa. There we go. Well, it looks good on camera. Look at that. All right, let's flip this over and see what we get. Yeesh, look at that. All right, let's try it over a piece like this. I think we got to go further back though, it's pretty heavy. Just like, just like a regular spray can, you know? You know what though, it gets the job done. It does get the job done. I think it's good for, looks like it's good for primers. That's my guess. It's a little sputtery, but I think that's because I didn't put enough in here. Oh, no, there it goes. I'm bopping around too much. Problem is, paint is kind of translucent. I should have picked a different color, but we'll see how even it paints. All right. Well, there you go. Let me clean this up. Let that. Let me let this dry. We'll go over the results at the bench. Before I get back to the bench, guys, I want to show you. It just... Uh, Dumped out everything back in the little jar, poured some acetone in it, and put the cap on it, and then we just sh shake it up, and uh, I'll give it another shot and wipe it out, and it comes pretty clean, because it's glass. Always easy to clean glass. All right, now we'll head back to the bench. All right, guys, here we are at the bench, and uh, we have the results, and they are pretty good. Um, this, I'm going to call this good for bigger surfaces. Um... And or priming, because it really, I mean, once it dried, I mean, look at that. It, this is a gloss primer. That's why it's shiny. And uh, here's the orange. I mean, look at that. This is a semi-gloss. Perfectly painted. I mean, it just dried beautiful. Look at it. Oh, of course, that's a product of the paint. A guy of paints are excellent, you know. Now, I had trouble with this piece. Well, it looks good here. It ran here, but I think that's my fault. I just went a little heavy on that side because over here it looks great. So, I mean, you can achieve um, certain jobs. I think if you want to paint a car body with, you know, a nice red, you know, whatever, you want to paint a car kit, it might work for that. I think it's good for priming a lot of parts. I would fill this thing right up and just keep it for primer. Um, I personally wouldn't put clear in it. 
I think it's just it's just going to come out too heavy. Um, but I think it's good for primer. I mean, I look like a fool saying it's only good for primer because it, it really did <laughs> it really did paint this really well. I mean, it really just laid down and dried nice. Again, it's guy of paint. It's it, it, it's as good as it gets. So it's it's just going to dry perfect anyway. But it did cover this piece really nice. So yeah, take that what you will. I mean, under fifteen bucks. Uh, that's what I paid. I'll put links below on Amazon. Um, they come in two packs, which personally, I would have did. I wanted to go back and get one. I didn't have enough time. To, I wanted to try two and uh, try the two paints side by side. Um, I think uh, getting a two pack, even a four pack, and keeping certain primers, maybe a black primer, white, a gray, that's what I would use it for. And then when you run out, you just grab one of these. It looks like it should last a bit. Not sure how long it lasts, but... Uh, it does push a lot of paint, so that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I will put the link. Um, it works. Strain your paint. I'll put a link for this strainer. It cleans up nice. Look at that. Fits all my airbrushes. I'll put it over here. Oh, in the background, for some reason, I left this out. Somebody was asking about my single action Creos, GSI Creos. It's a point four needle. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. Look at that. That's the whole needle. Uh... It's a great little airbrush. This Again, this is good for airbrushing uh, primers. It's single action, so it's all air, and you just press it. But here's how you adjust it without pulling it back. You actually have to turn the needle. But that's why you see that sitting in the background. Somebody was asking me about that. I've had that thing for like two years. Um, so, yeah, there you go. It works. Uh, I really can't say anything bad about it. it. It just works. I personally would get several of them and keep all my primers in it. As I said, a gray, a black, a white, you know, even red primer or pink. That's what I would do. And um, and you always, when you want a primer, boom, you just pick it up, you're good to go. Spray it, put it back on the shelf, you know, and it, it lays down nice. So, there you go. All right, guys, let me show you something I'm working on before I do say my goodbyes. If you've seen my community section, you you know what I'm about to show you. I am working on opaque colored panel liners to go with my neon panel liners. And here is white. Um... It's tough to get a white that would flow and hold its opaque and pigment colors of white. And I think they did it for me. They found a good formula. It's not going to flow like an enamel would. You know, the point is they keep these acrylics so they go over everything. But uh, it was a little bit of work. I mean, I, I got close, let it dry for five minutes, and I just wiped it with water. And look at that. This is a teal color. See the green? This plastic is awful. This is a really old Gumpla kit. And uh, you can see I was practicing here. But uh, it's, <laughs> all the swirls in the plastic look terrible. I should have painted it first. But I'm just practicing to see how this stuff works as they're sending it to me. Here is the green. Or what do you want to call that? It's like an aqua. Aqua. And here's copper. How's that? I do like the copper. It has kind of a rust look. And I was asking you guys what colors you'd like to see. And I will work on that, uh, silvers and golds, and I'm getting all that. I know a few guys want a purple. A lot of requests for a red, and um, a red is in the plan, so uh, I will have a red panel liner, too. The white is very popular so far in my questionnaires, and look at that. So I can see why white would look good, and uh, people would want it. Anyway, that's what I'm working on currently as far as a new product goes behind the scenes, and uh, hopefully in a few weeks I could have those out and ready to be sold. Um, that's it, guys. All right, we got a new video coming soon. I'm going to go over the complete steps of airbrushing. Uh, kind of a beginner's guide, but, you know, I'm going to show you all the equipment and mixing the paint, paint uh, painting it parts, cleaning the airbrush. I, I'm going to kind of give you a walkthrough, a, uh, a how-to. Uh, hopefully it can be referred to over the years, maybe, and, uh, I'll, and uh, I've done a few of them, but I think I've got enough uh, experience in that I can show you guys uh, a step-by-step on airbrushing, uh, kind of like a beginner's guide, you know, more of a beginner's guide. And uh, I'll take my time and go through each item. And then I'm going to do uh, a video on each of my favorite items that I think you should have on your bench. I'm talking about uh, these are my favorite Q-tips or whatever you call these things, cotton swabs, pointy end, round end. I love these. I'm on my second case of these. And uh, I like these pipettes. And the, these are my favorite cups. Absolutely, my favorite cups because they have no ridges in the bottom. When you go to stir them, your stick doesn't get stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through my favorite items. I think everyone should have, and these are all cheap items. 
all cheap, that I think you should keep on your bench for airbrushing, you know, all the way through. This is everything you would need. And uh, I think that's a video I am planning on, and I will work on that this week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please like the video, and please subscribe below if you haven't already. Um, we're going to try and make the goal of uh, getting closer to 100,000. Um, it's a lofty goal, but hey, let's try it, right? Let's try and go for that goal. Uh, you guys have been terrific. And uh, if you want, also, I'm going to put a link below for my Patreon channel. Uh, if you join up, it's cheap. It's like 4 bucks. Uh, I'll answer your questions directly. That's what I use it for. A lot of people are just asking questions. I go back and forth all night. I'm answering questions 11, 12 o'clock at night. I'm going back and forth answering you guys. And uh, also, if I can show you a video, if you guys want to see a certain color painted uh, over certain bases. And if I have everything here, which I, you see my room, I pretty much have everything here, right? We have everything here. The Grand Tour. Oh, way up, way up. Spray paints way up there. All my thinners are over here. My primers are over there. Got some more spray cans in here, Mr. Hobby. Right back there. All right, here's the booth you guys see me painting in. All right, let's loop back around. A wall of Gumpla and car kits. There's my bike kits. All right. All right. There you go. So you can see <laughs> I have just about everything. So if you want a certain color painted uh, and tested, I'll do that on video for you. I'm actually working on four Patreon videos for questions from you guys who have joined. And I will gladly answer those. And, uh, yeah, that's what I use the Patreon for so I can answer your questions directly. So uh, if you want, the link will be below, just below this uh, video. And uh, anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely the best. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. And we'll see you in the next video.